I'm the father of Dylan and Raheem Jackson, the two young boys that got killed on 75th and Coles in the South Shore area in Chicago, Southeast Side. I'm making this video this morning. Uh, I'm pretty sure a lot of you all are aware that um, the shooter either was caught, um, well, actually he was caught uh, due to uh, eyewitnesses saying that he was the shooter. Uh, we're trying to hopefully get some answers now. You know, I, I, I thank God that you know, the shooter was able to be apprehended very expeditiously. And I'd like to thank the, um, hopefully, you know, um, this guy can give some answers to what's going on. I'd like to, you know, uh, send out my appreciation to the uh, people that were credible eyewitnesses to fingering this guy out as the, the shooter. Um, I hope that he will step up and give his side of the story on, you know, what's going on and, you know, what inspired him to go take four lives. Um, I've heard a conflicting story about um, he did what he did because his father, you know, was murdered. And, uh, you know, there were four people you know, that actually, you know, fired you know, from what is being said in the newspaper that a witness says that four guys jumped out of a vehicle and started firing at this dude, you know, at 11, 20, 11, 30 p.m. at night. You know, but no one has been specifically identified. So my question to that was, if he came, because it doesn't really look like a random shooting, if he actually came to kill four people that was allegedly a part of his father's murder, where in the hell did you get your information from? I think that was information that should have been dispatched to the police. Not taking matters into your own hands. Now, you know, who fed you this information? You know, what's what's going on? You know, I know it's being said this is game related, game retaliation, payback. I don't know. But I know Dylan and Raheem Jackson wasn't involved in no one's murder, nor they were, uh, not, they wasn't even game bangers. They didn't sell drugs. They didn't do none of that. What's going on? Come on, tell your side of the story. The guy that shot my sons and murdered them, tell your side of the story. Who put you up to it? Come on out. You know, don't take that. Don't take that way by yourself. You know, who, who, somebody gave you some bad information, bruh. Somebody gave you some real, real bad information. Put them out there on front street. Who gave you that information? Who told, Who sent you off like that, man? Because as far as I'm concerned, man, it, seems like it, it actually seems like somebody sent you off. I mean, until the, the, the evidence and the facts come in saying that they were actually linked to that crime, if it comes down to that they were innocent bystanders, and what, as far as I'm concerned right now, you know, that's the way I see it. They was innocent bystanders. So the next question is going to be to the mother. Why was they down there and you knew they weren't supposed to be down there in that area? You knew they wasn't supposed to be down there in that area because you moved from that area back west. Why were both my boys down there? It's going to be the next question to be asked. So we have the shooter and we have the mother. Man, y'all got some hard questions to ask. Y'all got some hard questions to ask. My boys are not going out with dirt thrown on them. 
coming from whatever direction. My boys are not going out with just having dirt thrown on them and hey, don't nobody really care. You know, it's just gonna be the funeral, the burial, and then hey, you know, just you know, shove them in the ground. As a concerned parent and a father, I mean, I haven't even been notified by the children's mother or by any members of her family or any of her friends about the death of my sons. Can you believe that? Why? No matter what's going on between me and you, why haven't you contacted the father? Why no one in the family have asked you or even contacted me? No mother, no brother, no sister, no aunt, no uncle, no auntie. Nobody has contacted me. None of your friends. I'm the father. But you got something against me? Two of our children have been murdered and you haven't even called me one time. Not even nobody in your family have called me. Nobody in your family has called me at all. Nobody. You mean to tell me, what have I did to you? What have I did to your family to deserve y'all not even calling me to tell me that my, my sons were killed? You didn't even call me with the funeral arrangements. You didn't even call me, ask me for money to help you bury them. Are you gonna bury them? Or are you just gonna have, you know, have them burn and have your ashes sitting in your room over your bed? What, what, I mean, I haven't been notified funeral arrangements or nothing. So I guess I had to go through other channels to find out which has been through my family, friends, and the media. What parent go out of their way not to tell the other parent that they just lost two of their children on one ticket? And you ain't called and said nothing, period. And guess what? This is day number seven. Wow. You haven't even called the other parent. Nobody in your family. And your family know who I am. I've been knowing the Jackson family for 30 years. Y'all act like I'm locked up or I'm dead or I'm not locked up. I'm not dead. You guys are sitting there acting like I don't give up what's going on with my two dead boys. Believe me, the shooter is not the only one Got to answer some questions. But there are some other people need to start coming forth. Actually, the media need to start shining the light on some more people and start asking some questions. If you need some questions to be asked, hey, media, contact me. I got the questions you need to be asking. Contact me. Raheem and Dylan, I love y'all, man. I hate to see y'all go out like that. But I'm here to tell you, I love you, and I'm not going to let y'all go out like that. For those who feel like you guys don't have a voice, you got a voice. Your dad is going to represent you. And I'm going to represent you with every breath in my body. Y'all ain't going out like people trying to paint the picture. You know, y'all trying, make, make trying to make my boys look like they some knockoffs. My boys ain't no knockoffs. My boys are straight genuine. They're the real deal. And I'm not going to let people or the general public, the general public label y'all like y'all was nothing, like you was garbage. Like you was, like, you know, you had that coming. No, 